I'm on a journey to reveal the engineering triumphs embedded in the tallest concrete structure in the Seven Seas. This structure is so enormous, it's hard to get your head round. Yep, that is quite a drop. And uh, if the view isn't enough to tell you all you need to know about how big these legs actually are, the fact that it's a nine-minute elevator ride to get down to the bottom might do the job. I mean, nine minutes. Oh, well, it, it's meant to do that. That ceiling that I can see, way up there, isn't the top of the leg. In fact, that's barely a third of the way up. It's nearly three times further than that to the top. And that puts me on a level with the seabed. And the incredible water pressure down here doesn't just mean that these walls have to be immensely strong. They've also got to be watertight. This is one lump of concrete. It's one piece. That is just one piece. You need a mole that moves up the building as it grows. Underneath the rig, this is the shutter that contains the concrete that's being poured. It's a bit that they lift up. This is the fresh concrete that's been exposed underneath. In fact, we're moving now. Look, there you go. That's me, everything I'm standing on, everybody on top. We're all moving up to expose fresh concrete underneath. It is amazing to think that they're still working above here. They're pouring new concrete at the moment. This is all just wet stuff that's just been poured in from the wheelbarrows. It's just so it's going off here, still soft. And down here, as the chemical reaction is taking place by which the concrete cures, it's warm. 